this video lesson is about comparing and arranging decimal numbers. Let us know first the comparing symbols. Greater than the number to the left is always higher than the number to the right. Less than the number to the left is always lower than the number to the right and equal to both number to the right and left are same number when we use greater than we use greater than if the number to the left is higher than the number to the right so i have here one and sixty three hundredths on the left and on the right i have eighty three hundredths which of the two numbers or which of the two decimal numbers are higher to the left or the number to the right okay the number to the left which has one and 63 hundredths so that we're going to use the greater than symbols next i have number to the left six and eleven hundredths while on the right i have three and forty five hundredths which of the two has a higher number that's right the number to the left which is six and eleven hundreds so that we're going to use the greater than symbol next when we use less than we use less than if the number to the left is lower than the number to the right so I have here 83 hundreds on the left and on the right I have 1 and 63 hundreds which of the two is lower okay the lower number is 83 hundreds so that we're going to use less than Next, I have here 3 and 45 hundreds. And on the right, I have 6 and 11 hundreds. Which of, which of the two has a lower number? That's right, 3 and 45 hundreds. So we're going to use less than. next when we use equal to we use equal to if both number to the right and left are same number so i have here both number to the left and right are same number which is one and sixty three hundreds so we're going to use equal to symbols next six and eleven hundreds on the right and also six and eleven hundreds to the left so the same they are the same so we're just going to put equal to symbol okay try this i'll give you uh, 10 seconds to compare numbers using symbols use the symbols greater than less than and equal to so your 10 seconds starts now five seconds Time is up.
Again, I will show you my answer and compare with your answer. So, 25 hundredths and 25 hundredths are the same number. So that, we're going to use equal to symbol. Next, 56 hundredths and 65 hundredths. So 56 hundredths is lower than the 65 hundredths. So that, we're going to use less than. Next, 80 hundreds and 8 hundreds. 80 is greater than, is greater or higher number to the 8 hundreds. So that we're going to use greater than. Next, 50 hundreds and 5 hundreds. 50 hundreds is higher than 5 hundreds. So we're going to use greater than. Next, 79 hundreds and 97 hundreds. 79 hundreds is lower than the 97 hundreds. So we're going to use less than. And last, 3 and 33 hundreds, and also 3 and 33 hundreds are same numbers. So, we're going to use the equal symbol. Okay, let's try the arranging decimal. We arrange decimal into two order, which is the increasing order, which is the set of order of numbers are arranged from the smallest to largest number and decreasing or descending in order as the set of order numbers are arranged from largest to smallest so let's try increasing or the ascending order which from smallest to largest so we're going to start on the smallest number up to largest number so I have here a set order of numbers which is nine hundreds and nine hundred is the smallest and next to nine hundreds is forty six hundreds next is fifty six hundreds sixty five hundreds one and three hundreds and one and thirty-five hundreds. As you can see, the set of order are arranged from smallest to largest. So that the order of this is the increasing order or the ascending order. So I have here also an example which is three and ninety-eight hundreds, four and zero one hundreds. 4 and 37 hundreds, 5 and 5 hundreds, 6 and 76 hundreds, and 9 and 1 hundreds. So as you can see again, it's the set order of numbers are arranged from smallest to largest. So that the order of the set is increasing order. Next, decreasing order or the descending order this order uh, is a set of order of numbers are arranged from largest to smallest so we're going to start from largest number up to smallest number so you have your set of order of number which is one and thirty five hundreds one and three hundreds 65 hundreds, 56 hundreds, 46 hundreds, and 9 hundreds. So as you can see, the, the order, of, the arrangement of the number are from largest to smallest. So that we come up with a decreasing order or the descending order. Next, 
nine and one hundreds, six and seven to six hundreds, five and five hundreds, four and thirty seven hundreds, four and one hundreds, and three and ninety eight hundreds. So, as you can see again, the number are arranged from larger, largest number to smallest number. So that the order of this set is on the decreasing order or the descending order. Okay, try this one. Tell whether the order of the number is increasing or decreasing in order. I'll give you 15 seconds for this activity. So your 15 seconds starts now. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time is up. Again, I'll show you my answer and compare with your answer if correct. So the first cell is on the decreasing order. Because it starts with... A largest number up to smallest number next decreasing order again and last increasing order because it's from starts from smallest up to largest number <laughs>